okay, so look, my good friend Josh, you know, he called me up, he said, hey, look, Carlos, can you do the recap? Because I'm not feeling so good. So today, the recap is all Carlos, all right? So get ready, out the way, man. Hey, that's not, oh, who the hell are you? That, that's not, I heard the, I heard the phone call myself, okay? And Josh said we should split the recap, not just, not just, oh, you stupid. You know what? You look like Justin Timberlake had a baby with a cookie monster. <laughs> that's, that's not, that's not, that's not very nice. Look, I got a nice, I got a nice third. You know, if you're going to come around here, okay? Let me tell you something. If you're going to be on the show, you can't just be having this checky, checky, checky shirt, okay? You got to get yourself a nice guayavera, okay? And you know what? Get yourself a fedora. You know, like Brad Pitt in the movie where he was a gypsy? And you know, you got something in common with him anyway. You, you think I look like Brad Pitt? No, but nobody can understand what you're saying just like him. <laughs> Well, look, this is what, this is what Josh said, okay? He said that I should do some, and you should do, so like, so like, you do, like, the, the in-between stuff with the periods and stuff like that, and then I come on, okay, and I say the Stu, the, the, the Stu, are, are you talking, are you talking about Stu Barnes? Because Stu Barnes, he got three a long time ago, stupid bastards. No, I'm not saying it's Stu, <laughs> you do the stuff in the middle, and I say the stuff at the end, when he says, uh, Stu, 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 you know, we, 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 it's a Stu point! I, I got to call my agent. I can't be working with this kind of amateur shit. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, come back, come back, come, come back, Carlos. Hey, look, what's the, what's the fedora? Let's go, Panthers. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go! So we got the Penguins tonight. Good chance to get a big two points. They're missing some top players out of their lineup. And we've got some new players, right? A lot of stuff went down. We got Brian Boyle. I love the move. And I haven't seen too many people really disagreeing with it. A few people. But overall, I, I haven't seen Panthers Twitter agree about uh, some, something like this in a long time. So it's good to see him get, get, get back into the game. And, but just... Just Barkov, he's supposed to play. So, you know, we don't know if he's got a lingering injury or what the deal is with him. He's supposed to play. Trocek, we don't know yet. He's probably going to be a game time, but he didn't practice. And, you know, when you, you get hit with the puck like that, sometimes you're going to swell up later. And So we don't know if he's going to play. Boyle probably obviously is going to play. That's what they're saying. And Borgstrom gets sent back down. And, you know, boy, boy that just spurred a lot of debate on Twitter and on Facebook as well. Um... Everybody knows I've been a big Borgstrom fan, but at the same point, he's not been producing. And the, the, the way I'm looking at it now is I'm looking at, you know, Barkov has some kind of lingering issue. Trocek might not even play. Boyle, we just signed him, so you don't know how many minutes he's going to be able to give you. And we still, still send Borgstrom down. So Coach just has got to be absolutely displeased with his play, or maybe his attitude, I don't know, I don't, that's, I'm just, I'm just guessing, um, because somebody had to get sent down, and I know Borgstrom needs the minutes, and I don't know, guys, it's possible that maybe Q's not too thrilled with his attitude, you know, but that's, that's just me guessing, I have absolutely no evidence of that, other than just, that's what, kind of what my gut is telling me. So, we got a chance tonight to get a big two points. Bobrovsky's back in goal. I'm not really complaining about that, obviously. But at the same time, Bobrovsky has not been playing well. Monty has been playing well. And I, I, I just don't see why Monty just didn't get another start tonight and then put Bob back in on Thursday. But that's not the way it's shaked down. You're paying the guy $10 million, I get it. So he's going to play. All right, that's enough of that. Going to move on. We got to get a big two points tonight. Get some distance between us and that 500 record that we, we still kind of do. You know, that's always a big debate, right? What's what's hockey 500, you know? Because you get those loser points. Ah, look, wins and losses. Forget about the loser points. If you have more wins than losses in regulation, to me, that's 500. Because you, you, can't, you can't judge the game by a different set of rules than they're actually playing by. And... Those, those overtime losses, I mean, 
that that's that's the rules you play with. So, you know, if if there was no overtime or no ties or no one point, teams would play differently in the third period because they would know they have to get two points in regulation. So or or they're not going to get a point. So I don't think you can really compare the two. So I say more wins and losses in regulation is 500. So, no score after one, not a whole lot of action, not a lot of shots. Defense looks pretty good. Ekblad sick, not playing. Uh, not that it has anything to do with that. But Borowski obviously made some nice saves, so that's good to see. Because obviously he hasn't been playing all that well, so it's good to see him just get a, a few nice saves in. So hopefully his, he's over his October blues early. And uh, right now... Barkov clearly not not 100% clearly hurt. I really wish that they would just sit him for even even if it's just a few games a week, man. Just get him right because he doesn't look good at all. And you know at that point, right now our best centers with a tro check out, best two guys on the team right now are Dennis Malgan and Achari. So moving on, let's just keep this game tight and see if we can pull out two. I, I do. I, I look like I look like like Brad Pitt. No, you don't look like him. But nobody can understand what you're. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> now I'm doing Carlos with the lisp. This is not working out very well for me. Ha! <laughs> Shit. Okay, so <laughs> if you've been watching this channel long enough and follow me on Twitter long enough, you know that I'm a hundred percent. If I bitch about somebody, they score, right? But today, apparently, it's reverse day, new phenomenon day. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I, I praise Malgan, I praise Achari, and they score, both of them, in their period. And now I'm totally confused as to whether I should just bitch about everybody or praise them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a shot. Barkov, you look great, man. You are playing so wonderful. I can't believe you scored the game-winning goal tonight. I work. Two points! Two points! Nice! Wonderful, beautiful, 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 beautiful game all the way around, except for, you know, a couple of the injuries there. With Obviously, Matheson didn't play the third period, which I know at least probably... 60 70 percent of you are happy about that Barkov's still not looking right but we'll, we'll deal with that later we get two big ones in regulation finally over pittsburgh and bobrovsky looks looks good looks good right I, I mean i know i was hoping for monty to play but that's fine if we got two good goaltenders we're going to need them at some point so he, lo he looks like he's kicked that whole october thing maybe he saw coach sitting everybody and figured he better get his shit together quick or he might end up sitting down like Huberto and stuff like that. Um, yeah, Hoob, Hoob had a bad play. It wasn't all his fault, the, the second goal there, that, that Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh score, but he was just kind of coasting behind the play like he's long to do. But then he comes back, gets the game winner. So, all right, even Steven, but still, kid, man, stop fucking coasting around, man. Play hard all the time. So, what do we got? We got who else? Malgan. Holy shit, right? This guy, I'm not going to lie, okay? For the season, I was like, man, if, if Malgan makes this team, we're in trouble. I was wrong. No no, no two bones about it, right? Borkstrom ends up all the way back in the AHL, and Malgan's tearing it up. And we're going to need him, too, because we're going to need those minutes because Barkov, like I said, everybody can tell he's not right. He's not 100%. And I would just love to see, and, and I know... I, I know we obviously have to have our top players playing, but we're trying to make the playoffs and make a run. And I would rather see Barkov miss even three or five games and, you know, get healthy, whatever it is. I mean, some people think it's a shoulder, could be could be maybe something with his ribs, I don't know. But it, it's obvious, if you're going to watch his play around the boards, he's definitely avoiding contact. So I would prefer to see him just sit down and get healthy. But I think the you know the, the point that we can't do it, Obviously, it has something to do with Borkstrom not playing well. So, you know, you know we're going to have to have some banging bodies in there. You know, we got, got Boyle, Boyle and Achari and, and Malgan. He, he's learning how to play. He's kind of figured out that, all right, you know, my big criticism for him the other few years was he would, he would just take the puck and try to go outside of everybody and get smashed against the boards. 
he's not doing that this year. He's actually he he's cutting it. You know he's 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 cutting towards the towards the net, which is just it's just beautiful to see the kid finally develop the way he should. And God admit I was wrong about him. So I'm 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 glad we signed him to that contract. And I guess the next thing we're going to do is sign him to an extension, maybe eight years, eight million, because that's what we do, right? We give guys extensions after a few good games. So, but all right, <laughs> enough of the sarcasm. We get a big two points. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll be back Thursday night. I had to look at the schedule, so I don't know who we play, but whoever it is, we're going to get two big points. All right. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, hey, like, share, retweet. I really appreciate everybody watching. The views have been great. So the more that you guys share, especially from YouTube, the more people are going to see the videos and more fun we get to have. All right, guys. Good night.